Hey, and welcome back. I say I thought I would do something a little bit different. Over the last couple weeks, I've had quite a few people complimenting me on my skin and asking what my skincare was. I actually had one person ask me if I would be willing to film a video, and so I thought I would go ahead and do that. Now, the funny thing is, a couple years ago, I actually was going to record this video back when I was still trying to do half makeup, half nail polish videos but no one really liked my non nail polish videos, so I just kind of let them fizzle out and I stopped doing them. So anyways, today I thought I would just go ahead and share with you guys. A um, Couple things you should know. Number one, I am almost 42. I'll be 42 in a month. Um, I have oily to normal skin. It has been getting a lot more normal as I age, and then also with the help of some of these um, skincare products that I'll tell you about. Um, this is what my skin looks like. I have no makeup on. I am very acne prone. Um, my With my skincare, my acne will clear up very quickly, but I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation, so I will have a lot of leftover red marks for weeks at a time. So right now, I currently have no breakouts. However, if you can see, I don't know if it's coming, off, coming across on camera, but as you can see, I do have a lot of red marks from old breakouts that I do still have to cover up. Um, anything else that you should know? Um, I also used to have very strong skin, like I could put whatever I wanted on it. I used to use a lot more harsh ingredients, a lot more um, like acids, lactic acid, things like that. I never had sensitive skin. And the older I've gotten, the more sensitive my skin has gotten. So I've toned down, I've simplified my routine. My routine, I would say, is pretty simplistic. Um, I have simple products, but I have good quality, strong products that work for me. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with my morning routine. So I start by washing my face with a simple bar of sulfur soap. I'm obviously not gonna show you the one I use. Oh, and really fast. I'm going to link everything on through Amazon. However, if I buy it somewhere other than Amazon that is cheaper than Amazon or just easier to get a hold of, well, not easier because Amazon's really easy to get a hold of, but just where I prefer to buy things other than Amazon, I will let you know. Okay, so first I get this um, sulfur soap that I use in the morning. I My skin really loves sulfur. I used to for years and years and years kept trying to wash my face with um, like salicylic acid and my skin just wasn't responding. And then I started using sulfur and my skin loves sulfur. So I've been using sulfur soap, just a simple bar of sulfur, sulfur soap, probably for like seven or eight years now and my skin has truly changed. So very simple. It does smell like sulfur, um, but I don't mind it. And once you start using it, you really don't notice it. Okay, then for my toner, it's actually a homemade toner that I put in this spray bottle. I'm out of the two ingredients that I use, so I will put a picture on the screen and then of course I'll link them. So this is a homemade toner that I use. Whatever size bottle you use, the ratio, this is the ratio, the recipe that works for me. I did have to tweak it until I found the right ratio between the products. So whatever size I use, I will fill it halfway with apple cider vinegar. I use Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. You have to make sure it says with the mother. So I fill it halfway. And then with the remaining half, I fill half, so that's a quarter, of water. And then I fill the remaining quarter with witch hazel. I use, I think it's called Dickinson's, but like I said, I'm out, so I'll put a picture on the screen. And then I mix that up, and then this is my toner that I use every morning. Now this has changed my skin. I used to be so oily. My chin and my nose were extremely oily. My cheeks and my forehead have always been normal, but my chin and my nose would be a grease pit by like, like say if I did my makeup at eight in the morning, by like 10.30, my chin was so greasy, my nose was so greasy, and I was having to blot all day long. Since using this, and then plus, like I said, just natural aging, my skin has gotten a lot less oily. I may be blot, depending on what kind of makeup I'm using, I may be blot like once a day, and sometimes I don't even really feel the need if I'm using um, um, really good foundation that's more mattifying than dewy. 
um, I don't even have to blot. So this has really changed and also helps with acne and it's really great. I love using this. Okay, for my acne medication, I use benzoyl peroxide. Now I've been using benzoyl peroxide since I was a teenager, um, probably like 14. I didn't get a ton of acne surprisingly when I was a teenager. I really didn't start getting breakouts until I was in my early 20s. Um, so I started really getting hormonal. Most of my breakouts, by the way, are hormonal unless I use some kind of product that my skin doesn't like and I'll get a breakout. But for the most part, my, horm my breakouts are hormonal. Um, and I started getting it in my early 20s. But like I said, I've been using benzoyl peroxide since I was a teenager. So for like 35, no, 30, can I do math? For like almost 30 years, basically, like 28, something like that, I've been using benzoyl peroxide. Now, when I was a kid, remember in the stores, like the little, um, like at Target or CVS, whatever, the little tubes of like CoverGirl benzoyl peroxide, it looks like toothpaste. If you're my age, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I used to use that, but that stuff is drying, number one. Number two, you know, it looks like toothpaste on your skin, so you could only ever use it at night. I wanna say around maybe like 14, 15 years ago, I discovered this benzoyl peroxide. This is by acne.org, and it's 2.5% benzoyl peroxide, and it is in a gel formula. So you rub it into your skin, it completely disappears on your skin. So now I can use this twice a day. So I use this every single morning. I put, um, I do keep this in a smaller, kind of like how I have this in a smaller travel. I do keep this in a smaller um, squeeze bottle that I keep in my medicine cabinet. This is, you know, too big to store my medicine cabinet. Um, and I will just put maybe like, not even a dime size, like less than a dime, maybe like bigger than a pea, but less than a dime. Um, and I will rub that all over my entire face, blend it in really good, um, particularly around the areas where I get my acne. Um, you can use this on your body if you want. Sometimes I will get, you know, breakouts like around here or on my chest a little bit or like on the back of my neck. And so I will put some of this there when I need to. Um, this has just completely changed the game going from using it once a night, once a day as just spot treatment at night to using this twice a day on my entire face has really helped and I don't get breakouts like I used to. So I love this. I've been using, like I said, this product for many, many years. Um, you can get this on Amazon. Oh, by the way, and the products for this, um, I just get at the grocery store, CVS, um, for the witch hazel. And then for the apple cider vinegar, you get that at any grocery store. I don't buy those products on Amazon. For this, you can buy this on Amazon. However, it's more expensive on Amazon. I prefer to just buy it on their website, acne.org. So I've linked that below. Okay, then after I do my benzoyl peroxide, I let this sink into my skin for a minute or two. I'll brush my teeth, put my deodorant on, whatever. And then I do my vitamin C. So I've been using True Skin Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. This has vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. I've been using this particular one for several years. I have strayed over the years, you know, testing out different ones, and either my skin breaks out or I see the same results or not as good results. And this is very inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. So I always just go back to this one. I've been using this one, like I said, for years. Um, I get this one on Amazon, but I recently saw a few months ago that this is actually being sold at Target now. So this bottle I actually bought at Target. So now you can either get it on Amazon or Target. I really love this. It's just a nice basic vitamin C serum. Um, it's got a nice, I don't know, know if you can really tell in the bottle, but it's got kind of like a watery formula. And I really like it. I just put a few drops into my hand and then I put it all over my entire face and my neck. And I really like it. It sinks into the skin very well. It doesn't break me up. Okay. And then the next step is a very important step. I've been using sunscreen again since I was a teenager. I've been very... Um, into skincare since I was a young teenager. Skincare is um, one of the main reasons people say I look um, pretty young for my age. Um, skincare and then also genetics play a big part. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Genetics do play a big part and in 
how you overall look, and then also obviously your lifestyle. But one key thing that I think makes me look younger is that I've been using, um, been religious with my sunscreen since I was a kid. Okay, so like I said before, I am very acne prone. I've tried so many sunscreens over the years. I really don't remember what I used as a teenager, how I didn't break out, but since being an adult, every sunscreen I've ever tried has broken me out. I've tried physical, I've tried chemical, I've tried mineral, I've tried a dozen different brands that are specifically geared towards acne. They all broke me out until I found this. Um, La Roche Posay. I don't know. I've heard this pronounced so many different ways. And I use the Anfilios Clear Skin sun Sunscreen. It's oil free, won't cause breakouts. It's dry to the touch and it's 60 broad spectrum SPF. I love this stuff. It does not break me out. It blends right into my skin. It does not peel my makeup. Um, it's very good coverage. And like the most important thing that I said is that it does not break me out. So this has, in case you're wondering, um, Ovo, ovobenzone, homosalate, <laughs> butchering these, octosalate, and octocrylene. Love this. I've been using this for several years. I used to get it at Ulta, then I started finding it at Target, um, and I've also gotten it on Amazon once or twice. Then, a few months ago, I decided I wanted to try their spray sunscreen. This one is Athelio Spray Lotion Sunscreen. It's not, it doesn't say clear, um, what is this one? Clear skin, so it's not made for acne, but it's got, let me see the ingredients. Um, it doesn't have anything on here that breaks me out, and I absolutely love this. I just do like two sprays in my hand, and it covers my entire face and my neck, and I really like it, it hasn't broken me out. It is. I wouldn't say it's easier, but I do kind of enjoy the process a little bit more using this than using this. I will always keep this because this is perfect for travel and I do um, use them both, but I will say that lately I have been really enjoying using this one. It's non-greasy, it's fast absorbing, it's alcohol free, it blends right into the skin, it's the same 60 SPF, I love them. So I highly recommend either of these if you are acne prone at all. All right, and then the final step that I do during the day is right before I do my makeup. So I keep this in my vanity, um, this roller ball with jojoba oil. I used to use jojoba oil many, many, many years ago on my face, and then I started using argan oil, and then I recently switched back to jojoba oil, and I much prefer the jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is the oil that is most like our natural sebum. So it doesn't cause breakouts. It blends right into the skin. It's just like our natural sebum. I love this right before I do my makeup. I will roll this all over my face and pay um, very close attention to my under eyes because I have very, very dry, crepey under eyes, um, particularly like where my wrinkles are starting to come in. And then right in here, I get really dry. So I use this um not sparingly what's the other word generously i put a generous amount all over my skin i let it sink into my skin for a minute and then i go in with my makeup so the one that i've been using for a while now is the i get it on amazon it's cliganic 100 percent pure and natural jojoba oil it is cold pressed and unrefined chemical free lightweight fast absorbing the good thing about this is you can use jojoba oil on your skin on your face on your body, on your hair, on your nails. I use this um, for my homemade cuticle oils that I use as well. Really love the stuff. All right, that is everything that I do for daytime. Now for my nighttime skincare routine. Again, I keep it as simplified as possible. I start off with the sulfur, I wash my face. Oh, well I start off, I remove my makeup with um, Clinique's Take the Day Away. I don't always use this if I'm not wearing much eye makeup, um, especially if I'm not wearing mascara that day. Sometimes I don't wear mascara, I know. Um, sometimes I, don't, I won't use this and I'll just wash my face. But if I'm wearing a lot of um, eyeshadow, sparkly eyeshadow, I have mascara, I maybe went you know, a little heavier with you know, the blush, I will use this. I'll just use cotton, one cotton ball for each eye. 
um, one, one cotton ball on one side and then I'll flip it around and I'll do the other side. And it takes every single trace of mascara away. It's amazing. And then I'll do the same thing for the other eye. And then I will use another one for my whole face. It takes every inch of makeup off. I love this stuff. Then I will go in with my sulfur soap and then I will use my homemade toner and then I will use my benzoyl peroxide and then instead of using the vitamin C I will use a homemade serum that I use and I put it in this dropper bottle I fill it maybe this much with rosehip oil I get this one on Amazon I've been using this one for the last two bottles that I bought um, this is 11 rows, 100% pure and organic rosehip oil, cold pressed, unrefined. Rosehip oil is very good for the skin. Um, it hydrates, it gives you kind of like a glowy appearance. It's really, really nice for the skin. So I will fill this, like I said, up to about there. And then I will fill the rest of the way with my hobo oil. And then I just mix it up. I used to put essential oils into this as well, um, just different um, skin essential oils like tea tree, um, lavender oil, a couple different um, essential oils. Then my skin started getting more and more sensitive, so I finally just cut out all the essential oils altogether, and now it's just oil. Um, I will put this very generously on my entire face and my neck. Um, concentrating under the eyes like just everywhere um, love this stuff it sinks into the skin very nicely i don't stay greasy with this it blends in and it really hydrates my skin all right then the final step that i do at night for skincare i use an active ingredient i use and this is for anti-aging i use tretinoin and i use 0.1 i've been using tretinoin for many, many years, probably like, I don't know, maybe like seven years by now. Um, you do have to get this from a dermatologist. You, have, you can only use this, get this with a prescription. So I will, like I said, make sure I use a good amount of the oil to hydrate my skin and act as a moisturizing barrier because tretinoin can dry out your skin. Um, tretinoin, if you don't know, Retin-A, it's the same thing. It's vitamin A, which is the same thing. It's the same, vitamin A is the same type of ingredient as retinol. However, retin-A is, I'm not like a chemist or anything, but retin-A is the strongest version of vitamin A, like to simplify it. Um, it is the powerhouse of anti-aging. Tretinoin is the powerhouse of anti-aging. Um, and like I said, I use 0.1. So every other night I will use this. I will put a big blob on my finger. I'll blend it in and I will dot it all around my under eyes and then all over my forehead, all over my cheeks, all over here. And then I'll do a good amount all over my skin. I'll blend it in very well and then um, make sure to concentrate in the areas where I have fine lines. I don't know if you can see, but I have this like um, strong wrinkle that goes down the center like from doing that I guess you know from doing that um, so I concentrate there I really concentrate here I concentrate around here that's where I'm starting to get kind of um, lines a little bit and then I really focus on my neck which as you can see I really have my neck does not look as young as my face basically even though I focus on my neck very well anyways so I do this every other night I would love to do it every night um, my skin would handle every night. However, if I do this every night, um, I do notice that I start to break out a little bit more. So every other night I use this. And then the nights that I'm not using this, I will focus a little bit more on acne control. So every other night, if I'm starting to feel like anything's starting to come up, or if it's going to be that time of the month soon, then I will start to focus a little bit more on acne. And I use this sulfur ointment. I'm out of the tub, so I can't show you, um, but it's 
what's it called? Della Cruz sulfur ointment. I used to very easily find it at CVS, um, Walmart. It's getting harder to find, so I will. I've started buying it on Amazon, although even on Amazon, it used to be like $4 for a tub this big, and now it's getting more and more expensive. Now the tub like this is like eight or $9. Sometimes I can't even find the smaller tub and I have to buy the bigger tub, and then the bigger tub is even more expensive, so it is getting harder to find. However, I will say sulfur, like I said, the combination of sulfur and benzoyl peroxide is what has saved my skin as far as acne. So what I will do every other night is I will again make sure I use very good oil because sulfur is very drying. And then I will take, this is what it looks like, it's just an ointment. I will take a little bit and I will blend it on my skin and then I will rub it in. I concentrate on the areas that I am acne prone and then rub it in very well, a small amount. If you go overboard with this, you're going to wake up and your skin is going to be red, inflamed, it's gonna be dry and flaky, and it's gonna be painful. So just a little bit, and then I will focus it around here where I get my breakouts. If, especially if I can feel something coming up, then I will really focus on that. If my skin is doing really well, I don't have any breakouts on the horizon, then I will use this a little bit more and I'll kind of skip the sulfur just so I'm not drying my skin out unnecessarily. And I'll maybe get like an extra night or two with this and then I'll go back to this just to make sure I don't break out. All right, and that is everything that I use on a regular basis. Let me go ahead and show you things that I use as needed. Number one, if I do have breakouts and say it's just a no makeup kind of day like today, I'm just hanging around the house, not doing anything, if I had a small breakout that I wanted to cover, but I don't want to put makeup on it, I will use Alme Clear Complexion Concealer. So it's basically, I think it's salicylic acid, I'm pretty sure. Um, active ingredient salicylic acid 2.0. Helps clear and prevent acne blemishes. So it's basically just tinted um, blemish control. And I use it like a concealer and I'll just put it like that. And then it'll cover the, the blemish. It'll heal while it's covering it and then I can go about my day without wearing makeup and not be afraid of you know looking like a crazy person with you know red spots all over my face this does not come in, in like maybe like three shades it's crappy um thankfully for I guess for me this is selfish but thankfully for me it does come in a shade light enough for me to use I don't know if, if you have darker skin that you'd be able to get away with this but for me it works and so I use this okay another thing um I use one of these like eyebrow, um, I think they're made for your eyebrows, but it's Chic. I get these on Amazon, they come in a three pack. And I use these to get all the peach fuzz off my face. Um, this has been a game changer. It makes your skin so soft. Number one, it's removing all the peach fuzz. Number two, it's also removing any like dry, dry patches that you might have. It's doing a very gentle exfoliation basically is what it's doing. Really nice, um, just gives your face a very smooth canvas for makeup. The peach fuzz does not grow back in um, like thick, it just comes back in as peach fuzz. Love this, can't recommend these enough. And then if I ever have dry skin or if my skin is just looking dull and I need to do or I want to do a little bit of exfoliation, I will use this. I am out of the big bottle so I can't show it to you, but I, you know, I keep it in the small bottle for my medicine cabinet. This is Boschia, B-O-S-C-I-A, and it is their exfoliating gel peel. Um, it's pink. This stuff is amazing. It's got a gel formula, but it's got a very interesting formula. So it comes out as a gel. You rub it all over your clean, dry face or wherever you wanna use it. I will use it all over my face and then any areas that I'm a little bit dry, say I went a little bit overboard with this and I'm dry and flaky in this area, I will concentrate this on those areas. This stuff is a physical exfoliant. It gently physically exfoliates but it's also a chemical exfoliant, it has AHAs in it, so it will gently but very powerfully remove all your flaky 
dead skin cells. I don't know how it works. It's amazing. But like I said, it has a weird formula. So you put it on and you start to rub it in and then almost like it pills up basically and it looks so bizarre. So it pills up and then you just continue rubbing it and then you rinse it off. If you have any peach fuzz or like it accidentally gets into your eyebrows, it is going to stick there and you have to be careful to gently remove it. But then you rinse your face really well with water and it comes right off. This stuff is amazing. I love, love this stuff. Now I am out and I went to go look for, to link a new bottle and it used to come in kind of like a clearish bottle and because this is pink, it looked pink. But now I can't find that anywhere. Um, I found it on their website and it's in a green bottle. It looks like it's the same exact thing. However, I'm a little uncertain if it's exactly the same, if it's been reformulated for, formulated because I don't have my original bottle anymore. So I can't compare the ingredients to it. However, I believe I did, tried to do a little bit of research and it seems like it's the exact same bottle or in, exact same ingredient what am i trying to say it's the exact same product but it seems to be in a different bottle so i'm going to link from amazon love this stuff can't recommend it enough the other thing that i use this is a holy grail if you ever have any acne that's coming up the key is that it has to be above the surface it has to be a whitehead basically you put these patches on and you leave it on overnight or throughout the day whatever um, and it just sucks it out without breaking the skin. So if you can manage to not squeeze it, not pick your skin, just put this on and it will clear your skin up. It's absolutely amazing. I love, love this. I've gone through 20 of these at least. I buy it for my kids as well. Just absolutely amazing. All right, and then the very last product that I wanna talk about, this is a clay mask. It's Aztec Secret Health and Beauty Indian Healing Clay Mask. This stuff is amazing. I've been using this for several years. I think this is my second bottle. It lasts forever. I used to use this like four times a week. And when you first start to use it, it really pulls all the impurities out of your skin. So you're going to have breakouts if you've got anything like any clogged skin, anything like that. It's going to really pull everything out. And then if you maintain and use this regularly, it keeps your skin so clear and so nice. If you have sensitive skin, this might dry you out, so you might wanna use it less often. If I ever start to get lazy and I stop using this and then I use it again, it will break me out again. So I used to use it like four times a week. Now I try to at least just use it once, maybe twice. What I do is I keep a little small bowl in my bathroom and then one of those little, um, like mask things that you can, the little brushes that you can use for mask. I will do one small scoop, put it in the bowl, and I will mix this with apple cider vinegar. I've tried mixing with water before, but the water just does not get the lumps out and it'll stay lumpy and weird. So I will do apple cider vinegar. It really breaks it down, it's smooth. And then I will do just the tiniest thin layer all over my whole face. Um, I used to do a much thicker layer, um, but honestly, it's not necessary. The thick layer just um, dries really hard. And then like, you know, when you wear those masks and you do like this and then it like starts to crust and it's cakey and almost painful, like tight feeling. If you do just the tiniest thin layer, it doesn't do that. It just will dry down. You don't feel any of that tightness. It doesn't dry your skin out and it still works the way it should. Um, so that's how I like to do that. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, I started off getting this on Amazon, but I have seen it at Target now, which is really nice. All right, you guys, that was everything that I use on a regular basis and then as needed. I swear by these products. I've been using many of these products for years and years, and this has been my skincare routine for several years at this point. Um, I just, like I said, I swear by these products. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.